It's Madden NFL 23, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. All that and more coming up next. Ah, yes, nothing quite like Buffalo in January as we welcome you inside a snowy Highmark Stadium near the shores of Lake Erie. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gunn on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes. Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? one out the first drive will start at the 25 for the Buffalo offense coming out and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm and in this league there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while there are others who have big arms there aren't too many guys who can do both and at the end of many games this guy leads his team not just in passing but in rushing as well Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He'll buy some time right. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. So now first and ten as they cross into Miami territory at the 46. Allen going to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen. His throw incomplete. I don't see more than trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Throwing is Allen on third. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And now a low liner. I think he missed hit him. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. He wanted to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 27. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down the ball back on. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back to his offensive line. Great job. Keep it up. And we'll break that one soon. Tua looking to throw on third and two. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're gonna throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Ready up. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Down to it. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. Brandon, there have been some memorable snow games for championships in the NFL. 1948. Philadelphia Eagles, Chicago Cardinals. Well, the most famous one in my lifetime, I think, is got to be 01, right? Raiders, Patriots, just in the Patriots uh, to the Super to, Bowl. The tuck, the tuck roll, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one people remember. But I also know this in Miami, the infamous one, the snowplow game in New England when they went out there and, and the Patriots had a guy come out and clear a spot on the field for their field goal kicker to kick the game win. Is that 82? That was 82, and the Dolphins fans will never forget it. Well, we're not seeing one of those famous games here, but it's fun to be in the snow nonetheless. On second and 11 now. Two on the right side open is Gasicki, and he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. So after the INT, it's Allen. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. Throwing again on second and 10. Allen, and his throw is going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incorporation. Allen from the gun on third down. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So finally completes his first pass. Credit the defense. They've been showing him some different looks, keeping him off balance. Yeah, I like, I like the observation that you had there because when you give him different looks and give any quarterback different looks, it takes just a little bit longer to process sometimes, and you don't throw the ball with the same confidence. You're not sure that that's where you should go with the football, and that's worked for the defense early in this game. And now he's got his first completion. Let's see if his confidence comes back, and he starts to get into a nice little groove. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Allen off the play fake. On the move to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. No score after one on EA Sports. 
second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. Here's Hill on the return. A good return there, 17 yards. And it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points. But then the pick it. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take possession as they get the 42 yard line. And second straight line now, you're Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily. But I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Following the pickup of four, 